LCIS or lobular carcinoma in situ is not breast cancer. It happens when cells in the milk producing glands of the breast or the lobules increase in size and change in shape and appearance. So they look cancerous, but they're not. There are no symptoms and it's not seen on a mammogram. You only know you have it when you have a biopsy for something else and it's detected. It's more common in women around their 40s and 50s. Having LCIS increases your risk of getting cancer in both breasts in your lifetime by about five to seven fold. You can develop DCIS, invasive ductal cancer and invasive lobular cancer. And for this reason, women in the UK are offered annual mammograms for the next five years to hopefully catch a cancer at a much earlier stage. If you have a strong family history for breast cancer, you may be offered chemo prevention with a tablet called tamoxifen, and a very small number of women may opt to have a bilateral mastectomy. This is done more commonly in the States. The one thing you can do to reduce your risk of getting cancer if you have LCIS is to make sure that you exercise regularly to keep your weight in a healthy range and lower your alcohol intake, as these can all reduce the risk of getting breast cancer in the future. There are two rarer forms of LCIS that also exist. The first is called pleomorphic, and these cells look much more abnormal than the cells of classic LCIS. The second is called florid LCIS, and here the cells clump together to form a mass, and the centre may be necrotic. These two forms of LCIS, pleomorphic and florid, have a much greater increase of causing breast cancer in the future, and for that reason, they are treated like ductal carcinoma in situ or DCIS. If you have these on a biopsy, you will probably be offered a lumpectomy or a wide local excision with radiotherapy and hormonal therapy in the future.